I'm going to explain how a continuous flow diverging diamond interchange works. This is a diagram of a diverging diamond interchange from the Wisconsin DOT website. And this is a continuous flow diverging diamond diagram. All this bene benefits from this one is this one has stoplights. This one doesn't. It you just keep going. You never stop. I'm going to show how it works. Say you're, I'm going to use the intersection on College Avenue and 41 in Appleton just to explain how it works as an example. So let's say you're going east on College and you just want to keep going through the interchange. So you're driving along here you have to be in the left lane and you take a little jog here and you go underneath the bridge here now you're actually on the wrong side of the road the traffic over here is going the other way just keep going along right about here you start going up a ramp to get up on the bridge right here you jog over and now you're going down the ramp and you're on your way just like you normally would. Now if you're turn making any right turns nothing changes, everything's the same. You can see you're getting off of Highway 41 here, you just take a right turn, nothing different. If you're getting up on the highway here, you just take a right turn up on the ramp if you're exiting here and you want to go right, same thing. And if you want to get on here, go south. So right turns, nothing changes. Let's say you want to take a left turn to go north on 41 and you're traveling east on college. So you're going here, you go underneath that same bridge. Now you're in the left lane, you've got a jog over here, lane change, and these people here would be coming through too and they most of them will probably be lane changing over to this lane so you got to switch around and you get on your ramp and you're on your way. And the last left turn that there is as you're going, say you're going north and then you want to go west on college you get on the college here and you get a lane change over and you start going up the ramp here you go over the other road and you're going down the ramp and on your way to the west And this is just a little map I made from Google Street View or a diagram showing the, what the ramp would look like from this point. We're looking north and this is College Avenue here. That's what the bridge would look like. There'd be one on the other side of the highway also. Now Let's read the description that I have on here and please if you like this idea and want to see this interchange here or somewhere else give the DOT an email and let them know that you want to see this. Thanks.